Thank you for joining us. In this video, we're going to look at a topic lab, and hopefully you've already seen our basic tutorial video. Now we're going to talk about this topic-specific lab. So in each of our labs, we have a goal, determine how the gravity of the planetary body impacts the time to the end of the ramp. We're looking at the forces in motion lab here today because I love this one. And if I increase, notice students have a chance to create their hypothesis in the scaffolded manner. So I'm going to increase the, what does the goal say? Gravity of the planetary body. Then the time to the end of the ramp will increase. Ready? I have my goal. I've created my hypothesis so I can move forward. All right, so determine how the gravity of the planetary body impacts the time to the end of the ramp. So if I increase the gravity, so I'm gonna start with the moon and just for the heck of it, I'm gonna move my tower way up. I'm gonna move my, make my guy purple because I like purple. Okay, let's go. Run my trial, see what happens. Okay, so my time to the end of the ramp was 2.99 seconds, okay? And then I'm gonna move to Mars. Just making sure uh, my time now was 1.96. All right, so have I increased my gravity? I have, and my time to the end of the ramp has actually decreased. Oh, what do you know? There's an impact on gravity. Uh, and then we're going to move to Venus. And what do we see? We see that our gravity has now increased to 8.9, and our time to the end of the ramp has decreased to 1.27. And then I'm going to move to Earth. I'm going to run this trial. So now I'm going to add these results to my tables so I can see, what do you know, as the gravity increased, the time to the end of the ramp decreased. So look, I had a chance to confront my misconception, and now I can move here. I can make a new claim. Notice that my mistake or my misunderstanding was in the relationship between the independent variable and the dependent variable. Thus far, the lab that I'm doing is receiving a perfect score. So if I increase the gravity of the planetary body, the time to the end of the ramp then decreased. This does not support my hypothesis. Notice students do not want to say this, but we need to really stress that this is a perfect score thus far because they correctly identified their independent variable, they correctly identified the dependent variable, they ran controlled trials, and now in our claim, we're saying, oh, what do you know? I confronted my misconception. I was incorrect. As the gravity increases, the time to the end of the ramp decreases. And if I learn from my mistake and I'm able to select my trials that warrant that claim, this I'm getting a perfect score, even though I was incorrect at the beginning. So that's something we can really stress with students is that they have that chance to confront it. They make the appropriate claim, and that's how they can get a perfect score, even if they were incorrect about the relationship when they first started. Okay, we're going to move on, and this is where we have a chance to write about our claim, write up our claim, evidence, and reasoning. For many of our labs, that's auto scored. You can notice how quickly this lab uh, can go. This lab actually is in a package with. There are three different labs, so students could finish this, and either finish their first goal and move on to the next one and finish the next one another day or they could finish all three goals in the same day it's your choice as a teacher whatever you would like to do best best and yeah students have a chance to do this and you get the assessment scores so thank you for tuning in please subscribe to our youtube channel check out our other videos and please let us know if you have any questions about using ingots with your students